welcome to England for you. Today you're jamming at the beautiful Kamikana Fishers for the second edition to these poles testings that I've been doing and this one is the Edge Monster margin and the 10 meter one and uh, just hooked into a lovely fish shallow and um, looks like a, a nice mirror carp. And as you'd imagine lots of strength from this edge monster keep getting this this fish under control really quickly and i was a bit concerned when i did the the unboxings about the length of the top kits and they are a bit long for me but i feel with this four meter landing net and uh, handle that i've got here i don't think it's going to be that much of a problem but you guys that have maybe got a smaller um, landing net handle it would be a good idea to maybe invest in something that's a little bit longer um, but then again you've got a higher reach so it shouldn't be a problem than, than most of the people have than, than me so if you've not watched the the first edition um, which is the response margin um, at Candy Corner then definitely worth giving that a try out um, the filming that we're going to do today is obviously a little bit of shallow a little bit of um, margin and a little bit of paste fishing sort of in front of us that's the plan um fingers crossed we'll uh, we'll achieve that and we've got the exact same rig on as that we did on the margin uh response video and that is a 020 main line straight through a little progen jigger flow on and a 14s kkmb we're looking at a, six, a 14 to 16 uh, hollow again and we uh, just shuffled that one into the net oh and that's a lovely fish and if you've watched the first one you'll see a trait starting to happen when you fish candy corner fisheries pretty much every fish you catch is an absolute wedge um and this one is uh, certainly uh, no different to that Look out the way, see if it can give him a lift up. They've been very lively uh, today, so I'm not going to guarantee I'll get this one up, but we'll try his best. Another beautiful fish. Oh, beautiful mirror. Absolute clonker. Let's get him back in the, in the water, and we'll continue with the day. Let's see if we can, we can have another one. But another beautiful fish. Looks like he got. A little bit of um, a little bit of ghost in him there, a little bit of ghost carp, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, th if you've not watched my unboxing uh, video on the Edge Monster, then give that a give that a go. And I've also done a comparative uh, unboxing as well. But just a little bit of a rundown. The top kits are a little bit longer. They don't interchange with the response. They're their own top kits. They're a lot longer and uh, fatter. And the 10 meters, you obviously get a dolly butt um, to push that out. It's just under 10 meters, around a 9.4, uh, sorry, 9.5 in, in total, if you actually sort of do the full um, measurement. But what I would suggest is cutting these down if you're wanting shorter kits and sort of bigger, bigger elastics, because I don't think you'll fit a 20 through the um sort of uh, smaller tips that they've got in there i mean it's not they're not small by any any stretch of the imagination um but then they're certainly not like the five uh, five plus mil ones that they are on the um on the response so if you you, you have got the capability of doing that they obviously come roller side roller pullered uh, which is fab that's what you want for um poles nowadays and it's already done for you and it's already pre-bushed as well but if you are wanting to obviously get that length um, of top kit changed to, to accept a bit bigger elastic, then you're gonna you're gonna have to do to do that. What's to notice is obviously we're fishing it shallow. Now it's it's only 170 pound this package, and I've said this before. This is why I wanted to do a little bit of shallow fishing and a little bit of paste and, and just give it a general test. Um, and, and, and I've done the same on the response and this this will give you an idea now a lot of people 
um, by margin poles to just pull zoo creatures out of the edge which is what they're made for the strong you know the the, the wall strength is it, it, it's, it's tough and a lot of people use them for that but there's a lot of people that I talk to that are maybe a little bit older or the the can't reach as far as can, uh, hold as far that buy these poles to, to just fish them as an, an all-rounder pole uh, and that's what I wanted to sort of test them out because you see the the films that, that get done out there they're all aimed at that margin fishing which I understand because you know that that's that's what it says on the tin but a lot of anglers want to know if you can get it in different uh, scenarios and it is as you can see stiff enough to flick over a rig so if you want to fish even up to 10 meters with the, you know ease really it's it's light and you can flick it over and it's responsive enough to flick over without bouncing too much yeah all right it's got a little it's got more bounce than a response but it's just responses it is a stiff, stiffer better carbon pole this is a budget pole 170 quid um and you know i think it's pretty good to be honest i, I used to have the red range and that were around the same length and if you've had it this long it'd have been really bouncing you could have fished it shallow but it'd have been a bit cumbersome whereas this is nice and light um it, it flicks over nice and easy and it allows you to fish that shallow line on it and today's review is a little bit different trying to give you some information about different scenarios so yes we, we, we're gonna try and catch another on right. on shallow right guys so we're into another fish um <laughs> quite interesting this one uh it looked like it took the jigger float actually off the surface it must have obviously upped itself um but it looked like it actually ate the float rather than the pellet it, it sort of took it as it landed which was quite interesting but um i'm pretty sure it's gonna have had a knock in itself otherwise uh we wouldn't uh, be still attached but he's not very happy that's for sure great strength in these poles just look by lowering that tip and that's a, a little tip for you for any pole fishing when you're playing a fish sinking the tip you, is is just bringing that fish back to you and sometimes even the tip in the water if you try and pick somebody up um that's heavier than you and then you try and pick them up when they're in water obviously you can do it and that's what affects it it sort of puts on the fish when you put the tip under the water it just creates you know more pressure for you to be able to to control them but this seems like a good fish and it's still not still not ready to come in and 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 it's a set like a, like i said it's it's the same rig i had before um on the response you know review so it's it's 020 line so we, we we can lean on it a little bit um 16 uh, 14 16 hollow i'd like like i said in the other uh video I, I do like even though this is a more beefed up hollow than i normally would use probably something eight to ten or something like that for an average stamper fish um but for, for, for shallow fishing but when you, you still need it to be soft enough for the fish to swim out and obviously these are a bit bigger fish so i do need a slightly stronger elastic but it does need to be supple enough to steer them out the peg as you can see it's not it's not attached to the to the float so that's good so he's definitely definitely taking the bait if i just saw that fish um wallow on the surface and i i just flicked it over in front of it and it like like a lot of times carp do they just take it on on pure impulse i will uh, mention though um if you're going to go out to your, your local fishery and i did mention it in the other one just check see if there's a booking system or what they've got in place for covid19 um for candy corner we we booked this with jamie online um you can book your peg you can book your bait he's got a screen up uh, you dip your nets and just pretty much go to your peg he puts all the bait out for you on on the on the shack when you get here it's got a sneeze screen so there's no uh, sort of contamination wise but um you know just make sure you check that for your venues and see what they've got in place because sometimes you might be disappointed if you think you just uh, some venues are just turning up but some aren't and you don't want to turn up and and not be able to fish um so worth checking this fish is not giving up i mean the, the three fish that i've caught two on the obviously on the the response review and 
and the two, this one and the other one before it, um, all being good fish. And, and it, if you're ever going to get a chance to come to Candy Corner in Doncaster, that's one thing you won't be disappointed by, is the size of the fish. And we're on AJ's Lake, um, as, as you will have seen from the sort of the other review. Um, we're filming them both on, on that same day. And uh, that gives you a good comparison between both. But this long kit is, is all right, actually, when you're trying to put a bit of height on them. But every time I put height on this, it's just going to the bottom of the pond. So it does make me think the way it's side into side that it is quite a substantial fish. Now, believe it or not, the fish actually do go in to excess of 30 pound in here this is definitely not a 30 pounder um but it, it, it is commonplace to catch really sort of mid-sized doubles upwards uh, even into the sort of 20 pound bracket so just make sure you beat this is where you just do need the gear and this is one of the reasons i wanted to bring these two margin poles here because the fish fight hard and there's still a lot of strength in this kit, even though it's not being cut back. And again, it's still, it's still not happy, it's still not ready. And yeah, we've got a good metre and a bit's worth of uh, 16 elastic out and he's, uh, he's still giving it. This is where you need your if four metre landing that handle and again that's another absolute unit uh. and that's definitely the biggest one of today let's get him a bit under control he's wedging between my legs get that up That hook out, and as I thought, it was sort of bizarrely hooked um, because what's happened is he's come up to take the, the the actual float, which is really bizarre. No, 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 finger. So he came up um, to to get the to get the float, and he's just been hooked under chin. That's why I probably fought so hard, but he's a good fish and I'm just gonna let him chill out a second while I so I definitely want to pick this one up for you because he's he's got really nice markings and he's got a really nice sort of dorsal fin as well so let's let's see if he's gonna play a ball play nice Mr Common Carp oh, there's a right paddle on him oh and what an absolute unit what a fish that is let's get that back in the net and back in the water and uh, get into some paste fishing now and uh, see what else we can uh, get out on this edge monster and we're into another fish straight away on that paste and it doesn't know it's up yet and this is where the fun begins making sure f firm hold on this don't always be sometimes it's it's really tempting to get to back to that top kit um, and these fish tend to wake up once you've got them on a top kit so just make sure you've got those sections to hand. I don't think this one's as big as I've been catching, but you never know that these fish they sort of seem to wake up as soon as you as soon as you hook them and bring them up closer to the net. That's when they decide that they, they want to go. So let's.
so much power, these fish it must be nearly done. these mirrors and there it is up oh, and in and again following on the stamp that you get here at candy corner a good a good stamp up oh, perfectly in the corner of my mouth beautiful paste duck in Show the lines out of the way. Get that from out of the net. We don't want him to get tangled in that and we'll get him straight back. They're so strong, aren't they? So strong. When they go like that. You just got to bend, use those margin poles and just hold on. Hold on and sink it. It's the moment we're on deadlock. It's fish still wants to go that way. <laughs> I want it to come this way. He's on top at surface out there. He's a good fish, like. Come on, fish it. Come back this way. Oh, it's so strong, this fish. I don't, even though it's a margin pole, I still don't want to give it, I don't want to get it no more. But this is why you, you have your margin poles. You put that little extra pressure on. And if you ever get your chance to come to Candy Corner Fisheries, do not try and get them onto the top kit straight away. Because they're so strong and they go they go at once they go out there if you haven't got sections ready or you haven't got something attached to it even with strong elastic you're struggling this is um this is 16 to 18 elastic and it's uh all right it's hollow so it's stretchy but it's still going for it and 020 line is where you you got to trust your gear and hope that you've tied everything properly. Good tip to know when you're playing fish as well is never point your elastic or your top kit straight at, your, at the fish. Always try and put a, a bit of an angle on. The reason for that is um, you end up pulling your top kit off. You're bottoming your elastic out faster, but you also end up uh, potentially pulling your top kit off which is obviously not good I think it's Still not done is this fish. This is where the on the edge monster the the little taller kit does actually pay dividends. Oh don't you get under them lily pads. Get out of there. I know exactly where to go. I have to stand up just giving it a little bit of side strain. It looks like it's one of these um, commons again. And he's tried every trick in the book as this one. Through the lilies on the right hand side, through both margin pegs. And he's still giving it light.
it will fit these these commons just trying to get a little bit trying to get its head up once it's got its head up it'll be in his net but it, they just get their head down and they are so strong this is where these uh, margin margin uh, poles can really do you well on venues like this where you get average stamps quite a decent It's not a common, it's a mirror. But he's in the net and that's what's most important. Ugh. Tamed. Good old kipper. Looked in the corner of the mouth. Lovely paste fish. Let's uh, lift that out of the way. Yet. See if he'll behave his he must be knackered, so I'm hoping so. It's a lovely fish. Let's uh, get those ed edges baited up and see if we can uh, pull a few out from down there. In conclusion, an absolute fantastic pole, the Edge Monster. You know, Candy Corner again showing its its worth. It's had it on lots of different tests today, and you know it's handled them all with absolute ease. Um, so great bit of kit for 170 quid, definitely worth um, a, a, an investment, especially if you're uh, you're not wanting to break the bank. But uh, thank you again to Jamie for a fantastic day. Um, John is on the Facebook group uh, angling for you at seven o'clock Friday for live feeds and eight o'clock on uh, the uh, Instagram angling underscore for you. And uh, likes, share, subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Tight lines.